السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أبنائي طلاب الشهادة الإعدادية أهلا بيكم في حلقة جديدة في مادة العلوم باللغة الإنجليزية للطلاب مدارس اللغات على منصة البث المباشر على في للوزارة. Peace be upon you my dear student welcome to be with you Ms. Amal Ma'roof to explain another part in science for third prep. In the session we will talk about some objectives. Number one. Identify Ohm's law. After that, identify the relation between potential difference and electric current intensity. After that, we will solve some problems about potential difference and electric resistance. The title of this lesson continues the physical properties of electric current Ohm's law. The part we which, which will talk about it, Ohm's law, and the relation between the electric current intensity, potential difference, and electric resistance. In previous session, we talked about the importance of electricity, and we said that electricity plays an important role in our daily life, as we can use electricity for lightning cities and factories, and also we can use electricity operating electric devices. Number two, we talked about how is electric current generated. We know that electric current is electric charges that flow through a conductor. And a few examples of atom that contains proton in nucleus, and there are many negative charges of electrons in energy levels surround this nucleus. These electrons can be lost by the atom to be stable. When these electrons flow through a conductor, it forms electric current. So we can define electric current as a flow of negative charges, which are electrons in a conductor or in a metal wire. Flow of electric charges, it is electric current. And also we know that electric current has many physical properties. Number one, electric current intensity. Number two, electric potential difference. Number three, electric resistance. We know that from previous session, electric current intensity, it is the quantity of electric charges flowing through cross section of the conductor in one second. And we know that electric current intensity equal quantity of charges over time. Quantity of charges is measured by Coulomb. Electric current intensity is measured by ampere. Time is measured by second. This means that ampere equal Coulomb per second. That is the measuring unit of electric current intensity. Electric current intensity, it is the quantity of electric charges flowing through cross section of conductor. And also we know the meaning of ampere. Ampere as a measuring unit of electric current intensity can be defined by its physical quantity, which is electric current intensity. So ampere, it is the electric current intensity of conductor or pass through conductor when electric charges equal one column, passing through it in one second. And also we define column. It is a quantity of charges that transferred by electric current intensity one ampere through the conductor in one second. And the physical property, which is the potential difference. To know the potential difference, we must know what is the meaning of electric potential. As we know from the previous session, electric potential, it is the electric condition of conductor that shows or determines the transfer of the electricity to and from it when it is connected to another conductor. When we have two conductors that are different in electric potential, this means that there is a transferring of electricity from higher electric potential conductor to lower electric potential conductor. Of you two conductors, one of them carry many electric charges and the other have less electric charges. So electricity will transfer from higher electric potential to lower electric potential. As temperature, we know that heat energy will transfer through object 
from the higher temperature to lower temperature. So we know that between two conductors, there is a difference in electric potential. This difference is called potential difference. And also we know that potential difference need work done to transfer quantity of charges from one conductor to another conductor. So we can define potential difference at the work done to transfer quantity of electric charges of one column between two ends of this conductor. As potential difference increases, the work done to transfer the quantity of the charges increases. As potential difference can be calculated from the relation potential difference, which is represented by V equal work, which is represented by W over quantity of the charges, which can be represented by Q. The measuring unit of potential difference volt, the measuring unit of work equal joule, it charges column. This means that volt equal joule per column. And also we know the meaning of electromotive force. As we know that potential difference for all conductors, it is the work done to transfer quantity of charges from one end of conductor to another. But when we connect a battery in the electric circuit, this battery has potential difference, which is called electromotive force. So electromotive force, it is the potential difference but between the two poles of the battery. When the electric circuit is open, the electric potential difference between the two poles of the battery when the electric circuit is open and it is measured by volt. In front of you, electric circuit that contains voltmeter, which is connected in parallel connection between the two poles of the battery to measure the potential difference of the battery, which is electromotive force. How can we know? From this, the voltmeter is connected between the two poles of the battery and the electric circuit is open, not closed. But when we put the voltmeter between the two poles of, or two ends of conductor, or two poles of electric pulp or electric lamp, and this K is closed, this means that the voltmeter can be used to measure the potential difference between the two ends of electric pulp. And also we talked about the third physical property of electric current, which is electric resistance. And we define electric resistance as the obstruction that faces the electric current when it passes through a conductor or resistance or opposition. It is the opposition that the electric current faces during its movement in conductor. The device which is used to measure resistance is ohmmeter and the unit which is used to measure resistance is ohm. And there are many types of electric resistance. Electric resistance can be classified into two types, fixed electric resistance and variable electric resistance. Fixed electric resistance, which is constant. Variable, which is called sliding real state. Fixed resistance can be represented by an exact line and the variable resistance, which is called the sliding rheostat, can be represented by the zigzag line and the arrow above this zigzag line. And we know sliding rheostat and its idea of working. The idea of working of rheostat, which we can use it in Ohm's law, controls the electric current intensity and controls the potential difference between conductor by increasing or decreasing the length of the copper wire, what happens the resistance maybe increases or decreases. So by using sliding rheostat, we can control the electric current intensity and potential difference. Now we will talk about Ohm's law. Ohm's law, it is a very important law, law can be used in electricity field. As it explains a relation between the physical properties of electric current, the relation between electric current intensity, potential difference, and the electric resistance. Scientists who explain this law is called George Simon Ohm. George Simon Ohm. It is a scientist. He is a scientist that explains Ohm's law and defines a relation between electric current intensity, potential difference, and electric 
resistance. The relationship between current intensity and the potential difference in front of you electric circuit that is used to explain this law. The component of this electric circuit, number one battery or dry cell, then connected to K, K connected with a meter in series connection, then wire connected to resistance, fixed resistance, between the fixed resistance between the two poles or two points or two ends of resistance, there is a voltmeter that is connected in parallel connection. And also we have rheostat. What is the function of rheostat in this electric circuit which is used to explain Ohm's law? Control the electric current intensity and potential difference. First step of Ohm's law, connect an electric circuit consisting of battery, variable resistance or sliding rheostat, a meter which is connected in series connection, voltmeter which is connected in parallel connection between two ends of resistance, and all are connected in series connection. That is the first step. The first step of Ohm's law, connect the electric circuit, as you see in the picture. All components of this electric circuit are connected in series connection, except voltmeter, which is connected in parallel connection between the two ends of the fixed resistance, which we use Ohm's law to find the value of this resistance and to find the relation between potential difference and electric current intensity. Second step, switch on the electric current to the circuit through an on-off key. Yes, switch on the electric circuit. Switch on. Observe the current intensity in the circuit. This means that we observe the reading of a meter. Number two, reading of voltmeter in volt. The first step, connect all component of electric circuit, as you see in the, in the slide. After that, switch on the K and observe the reading of voltmeter and the ammeter. Ammeter is used to measure the electric current intensity. Voltmeter is used to measure the potential difference between the two ends of fixed resistance. After that, change the resistance. How can we change the resistance by using rheostat? By moving the slider on rheostat, the reading of a meter and reading of voltmeter will be changed. Why? Because by increasing the resistance of sliding rheostat, the electric current intensity decreases and the potential difference decreases. Second step, repeat the above steps several times. We can control or change the value of the variable resistance many times by increasing the length of the cover wire or decreasing the length of the cover wire. So the resistance or resistance of rheostat maybe decreases or increases. According to the value of rheostat, the reading of a meter and the reading of voltmeter will be changed. After that, arrange the reading of a meter and voltmeter in a table. And then find the result of dividing V over I in each time. Record your results in the following table. In front of you, table that represent number one, a meter reading in ampere, number two, voltmeter reading. The third column, dividing potential difference over electric current in tennis. Number one, the reading of a meter by changing the electric resistance becomes 0.1. And in the same time, the reading of potential energy or the reading of voltmeter, 1. By changing rheostat, the reading of a meter becomes 0.2. The reading of voltmeter becomes 2. 
by changing the stat again, the reading of ammeter becomes 0.3 and the reading of voltmeter 3. After that, the reading of ammeter 0.4 and the reading of voltmeter equal 4. Then make a divided between potential difference and the electric current intensity. V over R, 0.1, no, 1 over 0.1 equal 10, 2 over 0.2 equal 10, 3 over 0.3 equal 10, 4 divided 0.4 equal 10. This means that by dividing potential difference on electric current intensity, it is constant value. This constant value represents this, yes, excellent resistance. How can we know the relation between potential difference and electric current intensity? This relation is direct relation. How can we know? By increasing the reading of a meter, the potential voltmeter reading increases. And by decreasing the ammeter reading, the voltmeter reading will decrease. This means that the potential difference and the electric current intensity have direct relation, increases together and decrease together. What is your observation from the results you have obtained? Dividing V over I equal constant value. The constant value equals the conductor's resistance and its symbol is O and its unit is O related to scientist George Simon. Therefore, V over I equal R. And this relationship is known as Ohm's law. We can define Ohm's law as a mathematical relation between the second and the first physical properties of electric current. Electric current intensity and the potential difference. They have direct relation as by increasing the electric current intensity, the potential difference increases. But we have a condition. What is this condition at constant temperature? This means that Ohm's law said that the current flowing through a metal conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across its end when the temperature is constant. What does this mean, the temperature is constant? Why and why? Why the temperature must be constant? As temperature effects on metal, metals expand by heating and contract by cooling. So by heating, what happens to the cover coil lens? It will increase. As the lens of the wire increase, the electric resistance increases. So the potential difference and electric current intensity decreases. So temperature has effect on electric resistance. So we must form this experiment at constant temperature. Again, also the current flowing through a metal conductor is directly proportional to potential difference between the two ends of the conductor, but we have a condition constant temperature. So V equal R multiply I. Maybe he asked you to find the mathematical relation that explain Ohm's law. Mathematical relation V equal R multiply I or R equal V over I. So we must define volt. Volt, it is the potential difference between, between the two poles of the conductor whose resistance is 1 ohm and its electric current intensity passing through it 1 ampere. Again, volt, it is the potential difference between the two poles of a conductor whose resistance is 1 ohm and its current intensity passing through it is 1 ampere. From this relation, V equal R multiply I. This means that R equal V over L I. Ohm is a measuring unit that is used to measure electric resistance. So it can be defined by this physical quantity. Ohm, it is the resistance of a conductor. 
which allows the passing of an electric current. Its intensity is one ampere, and the potential difference between its two terminals is one volt. Ohm again, it is the resistance. This resistance of conductor. Through this conductor, there is electric current in density of one ampere flow through this conductor. And the potential difference between its end equals one volt. And also we can define ampere. Ampere can be defined as the electric current intensity passing through conductor whose resistance one ohm and the potential difference between the two poles equal one volt. Again, ampere, it is the electric current intensity passing through conductor whose resistance is one ohm and the potential difference between its poles is one volt. Example. Read example carefully and solve this example. If an electric current of 20 ampere passes in an electric heater and the potential difference between its two ends to 120 volt, calculate the heater's resistance. Here is the information in front of you. Number one, potential difference equal to 120 volt. Electric current intensity, 20 ampere. Electric resistance is unknown. We can use this relation. Resistance equal potential difference over electric current intensity. Potential difference equal to 120. Electric current intensity equal 20. 220 over 20 equal 11 ohm. The electric resistance of this conductor equal 11 ohm. Example number two. Please read this example carefully and send me to me your answer on the chat. Calculate the potential difference of the two ends of a vacuum cleaner whose resistance is 22 ohm and the current intensity passing through it is 10 ampere. The given information in front of you, V equal question mark, electric current intensity 10 ampere, resistance 22 ohm. Potential difference equal resistance multiply electric current intensity. Potential difference equal resistance equal 22 multiply electric current 10 equal 220 volt. We have application in unit in lesson one in unit two. Uncut electric charger device. Uncut electric charger device can be used in many houses. Can you store the electric current at home when the electric current is cut? How can we run the electric devices? By uncut electric charger device. Yes, how? We have a question in this part. Have you ever heard about a device used to store electric energy for a long or short period of time? This device provides the electric devices with electric current so as to continue operating. When there is no electric current at home, we can use this type of device, which is called an cut electric charger. This means that the function of this device is to store electricity to be used when the electric current is cut. Now we have some question in lesson one. Write the scientific term corresponding to each of the following statements. Number A, the obstruction, the electric current during its flow in the conductor. Obstruction, which electric current faces during its flow in the conductor. Yes, read the question carefully. Send your answer to me. Obstruction or opposition or resistance? Yes, it is electric resistance. 
Number B, the resistance of conductor that allows the passing of an electric current of one ampere through it when the potential difference between its two ends is one volt. Again, the resistance of conductor that allows the passing of an electric current one ampere through it when the potential difference between its two ends is one volt. How many physical quantity in this concept? Resistance, number one. Number two, electric current intensity. Number three, potential difference. The starting word of this concept, resistance. This means that he asked you about, yes, the measuring unit. What is the measuring unit of resistance, which is used to measure resistance? When the electric current intensity passing through a conductor, one ampere, and the potential difference between the two ends is one volt. Yes, I can hear you. The measuring unit of electric resistance, which is ohm. Ohm is the resistance of conductor that allows passing of electric current of one ampere when the potential difference between the two ends is one volt. Number C. Amount of electric charges that flow through conductor in a certain time. The amount of electric charges that flow through conductor in a certain time. Amount of charges, yes, electric current intensity. And do we know that amount of electric charges can be used to explain the concept of column? Yes. What is the difference between this concept and the concept that is used to define column? Column, it is the amount of electric charges transferred by electric current intensity of one ampere through cross-section area in one second. But in this concept, I asked you to about the amount of electric charges flow through conductor in certain time. That is the meaning of electric current intensity. Problem. If the work done to transfer electric charge between two points is 40 joules and the time of the charges flows through the conductor is 4 seconds and the potential difference 10 volt calculate the electric intensity passes through the circuit. It is very important example. Why? Because we can use two mathematical relation, not one. What is the given information in front of you? Given information in front of you, work done, which equals 40 joules. Number two, time, which equals four. There is no relation between the work done and the time. And the potential di difference in volt. There is a relation between work done and the potential difference from quantity of charges equal work done divided potential difference. Quantity of charges equal work done, which equals 40, divided potential difference, which equals 10. 40 over 10 equal 4. But he asked you to find the electric current intensity, not electric charges. So you must use second law as electric current intensity equal quantity of charges over time. Quantity of charges equal four. Time four second equal one ampere. To find the electric current intensity in this problem, we can use two mathematical relations. Quantity of charges equal work over potential difference. Then electric current intensity equal quantity of charges over time. Choose the correct answer for each of the following statements. The mathematical relation of Ohm law is R equal V over I. I equal R multiply V. R equal V multiply I. The correct answer. We know that there is a direct relation with I and V. So the correct answer. R equal V 
over i. As we know that v equal i multiply r. So r equal potential difference over electric current intensity. So the correct answer? Ohmmeter is used to measure space in electric circuit. Potential difference, current intensity, resistance. Which of them is correct? A meter is used to measure, yes. Potential difference, maybe. Current intensity, maybe. Resistance, yes. Must be resistance. As a meter is used to measure the electric resistance in electric circuit. Question number three. The ammeter is used to measure space in the electric circuit. A meter is a device that is used to measure what? Potential difference or current intensity or electric resistance. Which of them is correct? We know that a meter is connected in the electric circuit in series connection. Why? To measure? Yes, I can hear you. Electric current intensity is the correct answer. Number four. The unit of the measuring is the electric resistance is ampere, volt, ohm. They asked you about the measuring unit which is used to measure electric resistance. Related to the scientist, ohm. So the measuring unit of electric resistance is ohm. Five. The unit of the measuring is the current intensity is ampere, volt, ohm. Which of them is correct? The unit of the measuring of current intensity is ampere, volt, ohm. Yes. The measuring unit of current intensity, ampere. Problem. Find the quantity of the charges that flow in wire when an electric current of intensity 30 ampere passes for 8 minutes through this wire. The given information in front of you, quantity of the charges, which equal, no, it is unknown, electric current intensity equals 30 ampere. The time equal 8 minutes. First, we must change time from minute to second. Time equal 8, multiply 60, equal 480. After that, we can use the mathematical relation between electric current intensity and quantity of charges as Q equal I multiply T equal 30 multiply 480 equal 14,400 columns. Other problem. Find the quantity of charges that flow in a wire when an electric current of intensity 18 ampere passes for seven minutes through this wire. The given information in front of you, quantity of charges, question mark, or it is unknown, electric current intensity 18 ampere, time seven minutes. First, we must change the time from minute to second. Seven multiply 60 equal 420. Quantity of charges equal electric current intensity multiply time equal 18 multiply 420 equal. Complete the following sentences. Number one. Space is measured by using the voltmeter and has measuring unit known as what is the physical quantity can be measured by using a voltmeter? You have two physical quantity, potential difference and the electromotive force, and has measuring unit which is volt. Number two, the space is used to measure electromotive force of the battery. Yes, voltmeter, and the measuring unit is volt. Number three. While connecting a charged conductors, the electric current passes from the conductor have space potential to the conductor has space potential. Yes, from high to low. 
choose the correct answer. The space is used to measure the electric current in Tennessee. Voltmeter, meter, rheostat. The device that is used to measure the electric current in density, a meter. The sliding rheostat are used to change space and space in the electric circuit. By using rheostat, we can change reading electric current in density and the potential difference. Number two, resistance and the potential difference. Number three, current in density and resistance. Which of them is correct? Yes, current intensity and potential difference. Number three, the ammeter is used to measure space in electric circuit. Potential difference, current intensity, resistance. Which of them is correct? Yes, current intensity. Choose the correct answer. The unit of the measuring the electric resistance is ampere, volt, ohm. The correct answer is ohm. Number five. The unit of the measuring the current intensity is ampere, volt, ohm. The correct answer, ampere. Problem. Calculate the current intensity due to the flow of 5,100 coulomb in five minutes through cross-section of conductor. The given information in front of you, electric current intensity is unknown. Quantity of charge is equal 5,100 and the time five minutes. First, we must change time from minute to second. Time equal five multiply 60 equals 300. Current intensity equal quantity of charges over time. 5,100 over 300 equal 17 ampere. In the session, we talked about Ohm's law. At the end of the session, thank you for listening, and we will meet together, inshallah, next Sunday. Peace be upon you, and with you, Ms. Amal Maruf.